Hello, this is Traders. This is Victor from the Penny Stocker channel, and I am very excited to be bringing you the main list for. No, this is not a main list. I am very excited to be bringing you the triple zero list for Thursday, January 27, 2022. The Penny Stocker channel on YouTube, the best in OTC. First of all, this is not financial advice, and second of all, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I'm sure if you take your time and do your things right, you will learn from it. Being an OTC trader wannabe, I hope. Uh, anyway, OTC is a market that is um, is a moving target. It requires a lot of patience, a lot of trial and error. And, um, you know, just like everything on life, I guess, you know, you just, but uh, anyway, I love OTC and to be to try to do the best we have to remain constant and not uh, go into despair anyway I hope you are curious why I'm bringing you the stickers I think they have a lot of potential I hope you watch the video till the end we're gonna go to Weevil we're gonna take a look at the charts the description the news see what's going on with them in the meantime, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, and do become a Patreon. Okay, so we are at the Weeble platform, and our first sticker is GTEH, Gen Tech Holdings. It's traded at 0006 at an increase of 4%. We're looking at a one-year chart, and it doesn't look appealing because you're going from, point, uh, from one cent to very very little to uh, a thousandth of a cent to six thousandths of a cent and but it also provides a nice entry point i mean the lowest it was it was triple zero five and right now it's triple zero six that means for six hundred dollars you are able to get uh, one million shares and what's interesting here is that they had news recently. I just want to share that with you. Gentex uh, physica secures more retail retailers with initial order from TNA distribution, right? Uh, five days ago, they had uh, Gentex Storms signs national championship skateboarder uh, Dashon Jordan as brand ambassador for 2022. So they've been uh, news have been covering uh, coming out regarding them. I suggest you take a look at those news carefully. And uh, again, remember that the purpose of this channel, or one of the main purposes, is to make you aware of the stickers, and you then have to do your uh, research you have to decide what you're going to do uh, the main thing the minimum you should do is put these stickers on your watch list is uh, give them a chance do not discard them right away because uh later on they're going to come back and, and bite you okay now a l k m al k al came holdings is trading at uh, 0007 had an increase of 16 percent Again, we're looking at a one-year chart where they also have gone from um, more to less, right? They had an increase of 0060, but then since that, it has gone down big time. So what's going on? Well, let's check out the news also. Pura Pura, uh, Farmersville Helm Partnership Income Potential Enhanced by ALKM progress, right? And then they tell us here that Pura aims to modestly extract 10 million this year from 18 billion hemp industry, establishing a foothold on a much larger opportunity. So I will suggest, and let me see what they do. Alkaline Holdings, a health and wellness te technology holding company. The company is in the business and distribution of bottle, can, alkaline antioxidant and oxygenated water the company is acquiring and seeking to acquire companies rice and technologies it is also pursuing in the aquaculture sector is focused on introducing promoting and marketing and establishing channels of distribution to sell its products at a range of consumers in the united states canada and mexico 
Okay. Do I see anything about uh, mm, CBD? No. Okay. Water market subsidiaries. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so let's go back to the chart. And that's ALKM, right? Remember, these are triple zero, so we have to pay the patient game, all right? This is not like I'm going to jump in and it's going to go up right away. And that's why we try, that's why I have made this list, it's just to make us aware of the stickers that are triple zeros, you know, so you can keep an eye on them before they move into bigger things, hopefully. Now, next sticker symbol is ZAAG. And one of the reasons that I brought this sticker is because it's right now it's at the lowest form it has been within the last year. And uh, keep in mind that at one point it was almost six cents. Now it's triple zero eight. So it has a, if it goes back to here, it has, that's a lot of room to grow. And it has been there before, so we know that that is possible. And also, so that's one reason is because it's at, at the lowest form right now, the lowest value. And I also want, I think they got news. Uh, CA Group subsidiary launches is full direct to consumers winter collection. That was on 119. All right. So I would suggest you take a look at those news. I'm not going to do that, but I will suggest you do that. If you want to follow these guys, if you're interested in them. Okay, now this sticker symbol, I've been covering them for a while now. NNRX, Neutronomics is trading at 0004, had an increase of 14%. And what's going on with them? Well, again, a one-year chart. They had a high that was 031. But since, that, since then, I mean, this... It reached a high and immediately was a sell-off. Then another attempt, and it loses power. It had two attempts, and it's been declining ever since. It had a um, lowest point of triple zero two. Now we are at double that. It's been zigzagging between two and four. However, they have news, and I think uh, this is going to have an impact on them. Neutronomics incorporated guidance regarding pending acquisition of DHS development. Um, so uh, they just had, and that was one day ago, six days ago, they said they were going to do the acquisition. So I think that's um, valuable. It should have an impact on their chart as far as increasing the value, and you should keep an eye on it. Okay, now last sticker symbol, right before I forget, is SAMP, which um, this thing began as a triple zero eight, had a big run or almost three cents, but then also big sell off, and since that it's been side uh, trading and declining. Now it's a double zero one eight, I mean one six. But they did have news, so I want to share it with you. Santo Blockchain Labs development of crypto ATM white label code named Amazonia, right? And that's 22 hours ago. Um, you know, I think, it, plus they've been, if you look at the one month chart, they have awakened. They were pretty down, and it seems like there is some, uh, you know, you see, triple zero six. He went to double twenty four. So there's been some movement over here within the last month. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the list that I put together for you. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Please let me know what you think of it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, and do become a Patreon. Thank you for watching. Safe trading and plenty of blessings.